lighting candles. Latin tribes do that. Light candles. Princess Guadalupe. Mother Mary. Right? Cedric Borgir, which is white Jesus. To, to the angels. Other saints. Right? To demons. Lighting candles. But yet, them little figurines and idols can't see it. Right? They are as one of the beams of the temple, yet they say their hearts are gnawed upon by things creeping out of the earth, and when they eat them and their clothes, they feel it not. So, yeah, you know, if you got idols of wood and gold, well, really, of wood, you got to worry about termites and bugs eating it. Showing that ain't no, no real bad. It says their faces are blacker, blackened, black through the smoke that come up out of the, t the temple upon their bodies and heads sit bats swallows and birds and cats also by this ye know ye may know that they are no gods therefore fear them not notwithstanding the gold that is about them to make them beautiful except they wipe off the rust they will not shine for neither when they were molted did they feel it? The things wherein there is no breath are brought, bought for the most high price. That's right. You got people spending millions, millions upon millions to keep these churches uh, thriving and surviving, all right? Or, or, or paying, oh, good example, these Christian bookstores. You go in there, they got all types of idols and stuff you don't need and people be paying big time prices man get a bunch of lifeless lifeless figurines and stuff man which are abomination in the sight of the Lord man. since they are born upon shoulders having no feet whereby they declare unto men that they be nothing worth they also that serve them are ashamed that's right that's right that's right. Every every single every single church nigga we encountered teaching this word on the streets, on the comic board, all right, or or a video response, or whatever. They 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 get confounded. They be confounded and ashamed. Why? Because they don't know nothing, man. Scriptures say those idols are a stumbling block to the souls of men and a, a snare to the unwise. You don't. You simple. That's why you get ashamed, man. Those things you worship, they're dead, and they can't deliver you, and and they have no value, man. And and the doctrines you learn behind these these so-called uh, churches, all right, you you ain't learning them. That's why you can get confounded, man. You get cut by the basics of scriptures because you are unwise. The Lord ain't dealing with you. He says, for if they fall to the ground at any time, they cannot rise up again. Of themselves neither if one set them upright can they move of themselves neither if they bow down can they make themselves straight and they set gifts before them as unto dead men perfect example latin tribes you got this this i don't I, I forgot what the name is but it's a uh it's a so-called day where you present gifts you give it to your dead ancestors are your dead relatives you present gifts or when you when you worship in these these idols you sit uh fruit and food in front of it like it's gonna consume it or whatnot man showing you y'all gone man it says as for the things that are sacrificed unto them their priests sell and abuse that's right had them big ass bookstores and stuff selling all these books all this, all this, this uh, useless information, all this folly, all right? When really all you need is the scriptures, all right? Uh, you know, and some, some tools that help for studying. But they go all out, man. They give you all these commentaries, all this madness, sell and abuse, all right? In like manner, their wives lay up part thereof in salt, but unto the poor and impotent, they give nothing of it. That's right, man. Because when people really in need, all right, and they go to these churches to get help, pastors, you shit on them, man. You shit on them. 
okay? And the Lord gonna deal with y'all about that, man. All right? Because you're in a position to help the poor, all right? But you do it, if you do help them, it's to get glory, glory from uh, and praise of men, all right? But when somebody's poor and need and aid and they need help, y'all y'all shit on them, man. So the Lord gonna destroy y'all. Right, it says menstruous women, meaning women on a rag, and on a period, women in childbed, eat their sacrifices. By these things, ye may know that they are no gods. Fear them not. Let me get that preset real quick. This man, this is a mean chapter, man. Mean chapter. Because according to the law, statutes, and commandments, if a woman is a uh, on her on her you know her period or whatnot, she ain't supposed to come into the temple, all right? Or she ain't supposed to come amongst the congregation, all right? Uh, Leviticus twelve and one says, and the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel saying, If a woman have conceived seed, which the word conceived means taken into the womb become pregnant take seed into the womb I and become pregnant and seed is of the man which that goes back to the words uh, in the Greek sperma and in the Hebrew is zarai right? which means sperm and born a male child then she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of her separation for her infirmity shall she be unclean and in the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised she shall then continue in the blood of her purif purif purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hollow thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But she shall bear a. But if she bear, oh, oh, excuse me. It says she shall touch no hollow thing, nor come in the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. That's, that's plain, okay? Okay, all right. So back to Baruch chapter six, verse twenty-nine, which is the letter of a uh, epistle of Jeremiah. Right, the letter of Jeremiah. It says menstruous women and women in childbed eat their sacrifices. By these things ye, ye may know that they are no gods, fear them not. Basically, that's a proof that these churches the most high ain't in there because when when women are on a menstrual cycle or uh, recovering from childbirth, they supposed to be separated from the congregation, meaning they ain't supposed to be amongst people like that. They're supposed to be separate because they're unclean, all right, as long as they put apart for their separation. But in these churches, you got women in there all the time. They could be bleeding, all right, because if you ever clean the bathroom, you might find bloody tampons in there and everything, man. That's totally unclean, all right. So that show that the most I am in these churches, man. Verse 30, it says, for how can they be got? be called gods because women set meat before the gods of silver, gold, and wood meaning showing that these women that's teaching alright, because you know today uh, we don't do sacrifices alright, because we really call Jesus Christ whose name in Hebrew is Yahusha, he was the ultimate sacrifice for Israel, so when he was uh, crucified and resurrected he was um the, the laws on sacrificing animals was fulfilled so we don't do that anymore okay to atone for sins alright but uh, what what did the priest do that was a service unto, unto the heavenly father but it says right here because women set meat for the gods of silver gold and wood and the priests they would do the sacrifices which was set meat on the altar or, not, or do the service so if women are trying to uh, in the position of a priest or operating in the service of the uh, of God, then 
They're not.